Hey guys, Shadowhunter here, and today we have uh, my pin collection. And my pin collection actually is from Cooperstown. Now you might not know what Cooperstown is, but it is a place in upstate New York. There will be a map coming on screen. And, and it has lots of baseball fields, and I basically just went on a baseball tournament. And then they had pin trading from many different teams. And, uh... So I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, show you my pin collection uh, in just a few moments. My pin collection. Now this might not look like much. You might see some cool ones like this one and this one and this one. <gasps> Excuse me, I have hiccups. Uh, and all of these may look cool. You might not find them uh, have any worth, but these three. Well, yeah, you can't see it. But these three right here are rare so in the pin world three pins from the same team is called a set so like i at each rare one in the set will either look cooler or you know be rare so this is the diamond hero set this is the first the first one they're from virginia this is the golden one which personally i think is my favorite out of the three and there is the blackout one now this one uh, is, was rare already, but it became even rarer when the team ran out of these. Yeah, they only had 20. The team ran out of these completely. So it was rare, and I got it. Then this is New Era. You might see this uh, logo around uh, with sports and on uh, sports equipment and things such. And, that, and that's what it's from. Now this pin, the... Uh, OC Hawks. I got this one from a pretty good trade. This one, I don't, I don't know if you can see it. It's a little blurry. No, you can't see it, but over there, over there, this is 2009. On the date. Then we also have uh, the Knights from Kings Park. We have the Iron Men from Arlington. We have uh, Blaze. Oh, wait. Where is Blaze? Here. We have Blaze uh, from Utah, I think. No, I don't think it's Utah. Then we have Cornwall Dragons. Looks pretty cool. Oh, and this one's a set, too. Dangly pin. Uh, then we have this one. This is South River uh, Seahawks. We have Sandalot. I'm not sure what that team's from. And we have North Rockland Bulldogs. We have this over here, which is pretty cool. It is the Coyotes, the new castle Coyotes. Whew. And then there is here the Morristown Quakers. See? Looks pretty cool. But they actually made... Hold on a sec. I have it in, in here. I'm just going to take my display... Uh, bag off the shelf for a second so you remember how the diamond heroes had a black uh version right so the quakers got jealous and they kind of cheated a few people out with what was known as the uh black quakers they i don't know if you can tell but they just filled it in with sharpie to make it look like this the black diamond heroes so uh i excuse the hiccups uh this was a fake one Many people wanted it, you know, because it looked cool, but then people found out it was fake. So I got scanned as well. Yep, I got scanned. Anyway, there is also this Marlin spin, which is from uh, Arlboro, which is in New York. See? And there is the... Uh, there's many different teams that call it the same name, but this is also another Bulldogs, the Dell. Ah, Delaware Bulldogs. Then we have this umpire pin, which started out rare, because only ah, only the umpires had it, but they started giving it out a lot. And then almost everybody had one. So, yeah. There's also this uh, Elite pin, right? Yeah, there. This Elite pin, the Elite team. Don't know if you could see it, but that is from... Uh, Orleans, Orleans Park. Yeah. 
Not sure what state it's in, actually. But then we have the Michigan Hits. The uh, Chesterfield Michi Michigan uh, Hits Baseball. And yeah. So, you know this entire collection I have, right? Pretty rare pins, pretty cool looking. I got all of them for this. Yeah. And I was surprised. Like, the least cool looking, you know, pretty generic pin there is. And using that, I got all of this. And this is just a commemorative pin. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I guess I'll see you guys next time.